Hey there, Dr. Will Lee here, and I am excited to uh, start 2023 by checking out the grocery store. And I actually wanted to um, show you guys the things that I see when I actually go shopping. Now, I'm actually, um, you know, you're supposed to stay away from the middle aisle. Well, I'm actually not exactly in the middle aisle, but I'll show you things that I see in the middle aisle that actually can light up your metabolism because it's 2023 it's time to have energy in the body and that's what your metabolism is all about metabolism is about energy okay so here i am checking all this stuff out let me show you what catches my eye look at this sorry for the music in the background but this these are dry beans cannelli beans uh these are actually delicious you soak them cook them stew them there's all kinds of things you can do with beans beans actually light up your metabolism let's keep on looking I want to show you what else that I see here. Oh, look, um, what is this? That's a dried hibiscus, but how about this? Dried mushrooms. Um, mushrooms contain a soluble fiber called beta-D-glucan, and beta-D-glucan actually um, fires up your brown fat, uh, which is a space heater that burns down harmful fat, so mushrooms are really great. Um, oh, look, got here, green lentils. Lentils are also middle aisle foods that actually light up your metabolism. Uh, lentils are a tradition in the Middle East, uh, a Mediterranean uh, style food. Um, again, great warming foods for um, the um, uh, for the season. And look at this. Here's a pack of dried ancho chilies, peppers, chili peppers. Now, there's something in uh, chili peppers called capsaicin, and capsaicin fires up your body's metabolism and it uh, uses your beneficial fat to burn down your harmful fat. I actually love spicy food. And um, look, here's an Arbol chili pepper. Look, look at all the different varieties you can actually find, all dried. Um, and you know what, if you don't know what to do, if I don't know what to do with uh, a chili peppers, you know what I do? I go on Google and I type in the uh, the uh, the, uh, the name Arbol chili peppers and what I'll do is I'll look at the search results and hit video and I'll actually watch somebody teach me how to use it. Let's keep on going. I'm going to show you a few more uh, interesting uh, items um, uh, that I think are good. Oh, look, dried apricots. Dried fruits are something that I'm really going to be uh, trying to eat more of um, in 2023 because they're a great way to get dietary fiber and uh, the bioactives that are actually present in dried fruits as well. See what else is here. I want to just take you on a tour of my shopping. Um, cranberries, dried cranberries. All right, these it's not Thanksgiving anymore, uh, but uh, you can still use them. Uh, they're great uh, to really just kind of snack on. Cranberries have um, uh, a great source of elagitanins, they actually help your gut bacteria um, grow better. So, there's a really good gut bacteria called Acromancia mucinophila. It loves to live in the gut. Uh, when you eat cranberries, your, your gut actually becomes a more hospitable environment for the healthy bacteria, boosts your immune system, helps streamline your metabolism. These are all metabolism healthy foods. And look what I found here. I found some roasted almonds, another great choice for your metabolism. And here are, uh, let's see, these are um, cashew nuts. Hang on, let me see if I can pull one out. Stop dropping it. Cashews. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but raw cashews you would pick in a tree in Indonesia actually are poisonous. So this is an example of a nut that if raw, actually is deadly. However, the way they do it is they actually um, pick them, they boil them, it removes all the, the toxin, and uh, then they roast them. And you have this delicious, fiber-rich, healthy food, good for your gut. One more, let's see if I can show you. Um, oh, this is a good one. These are, um, what do I have here? I, just, I saw them a second ago. You guys, some, some of you have seen these. These are the walnuts. Walnuts are some of my favorite. Walnuts have actually been shown to improve your immune system by activating, feeding your gut microbiome. And when that actually happens, it actually makes your body respond better to uh, med medicines. Specifically, the study was done in patients with colon cancer, stage three colon cancer, getting Regular cancer treatment, um, including nuts in their diet, actually lowered their mortality by more than 50%. So here's an example of something that your doctor's not going to prescribe, but that I would actually encourage you to eat if you're battling cancer. 
to feed your gut, improve your immune system, help your immune, your own bodies, the health defenses, fight disease. And of course, a uh, good, healthy immune system also prevents diseases uh, as well. Well, that's it for today, uh, Dr. Lee, in the grocery store. You're going to be seeing me do more and more of this um, because my next book, I actually tour people through the grocery store, take you from aisle to aisle, section to section to show you what you can eat to improve your metabolism. Remember, in 2023, better metabolism means more energy. And so you can actually go out and do the things that you really want to do. All right. Better mind, better heart, better brain, better muscles. If you're interested in learning more about uh, metabolism, Please sign up for my metabolism mini course. I'm sorry, it's a metabolism masterclass. Um, links in the bio, completely free. I'm actually going to be doing demos and talking about things. Go to the link in my bio. There's not that many spaces left, so make sure you grab yours. And I look forward to seeing you there. All right, ciao.